I thought you two would be gone by now. What's with the shirt and tie? Well, I want to look smart, don't I? Have you had a shower? I might have. I reckon someone's having us on, Andy. Having you on? About this man from Moby. Well, you're done up, I reckon you've got a hot date. Oh, very funny. What do you think? You know, I look like I'm in business. Definitely. Don't look desperate, do I? Why would you look desperate? Because I am, lad. It's our last chance, remember? I don't know what you're worrying about. It's perfect up here for a mobile phone mast. It'll snap your hand off. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Wish I was as optimistic. But anyway, fingers crossed, eh? Right, school. See you later. See ya. And stop worrying. Good luck, Dad. I'm not sure about this, Alice. Tell you what, why don't we leave it till later? I just want to talk to her, that's all. Promise me you won't say where you are? Promise. Honest? <laughs> OK. I'm telling you, you're having a really good time and you'll see us soon, all right? OK, it's ringing. Now, whatever you do, don't say where you are. I won't. Back in a minute. Mummy, it's me. Hiya, come in. We got here yesterday. Yeah. Who's she talking to? I miss you too. What's Shane doing? She's here. She wants to speak to you. Elsa. Yeah, having a really good time. Look, we've just ordered some room service and it's just arrived. Can I call you back later? Yeah, of course I will. Yeah, I will do. OK, bye. Hello again. Hello. Go and get dressed. Go on. I take it that was Alice's mother on the phone? <sighs> yeah. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Maybe I should go and see a solicitor and see where I stand. Good idea. Do you want us to come with you? Would you? Well, no problem. There's just one thing. Are you absolutely sure that you want to go through with this? Positive. I'm not giving her up, Andrew. Not now. OK. I'll have a look through the phone book. So you reckon this mobile phone company's going to buy it, then? How should I know? Well, that's what you told Dad. I'd well, say I ought to shut him up, wouldn't I? I don't know why he don't just flog the farm. Mind you, that'd be too easy for Dad, wouldn't it? He'd have nothing to moan about. All right. You all right? What's up with you? I'd do anything for today to be over. And I mean anything. I feel sick. Steve offending officer. Oh, we had him yesterday. It's a breeze. Honest. I have told her. You just tell them what they want to hear, don't you? You know, you're sorry, blah, 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 never do it again, look a bit upset. It's a piece of cake. Andy's dead good at it, aren't you, Andy? Well, if in doubt, just turn on the waterworks. I mean, you're a girl, aren't you? You'll get away with it. You reckon? <sighs> look, I'm off to the shop, all right? See you later. And don't be late, oh, Molly. All right. Mr. Sugden. That's me. Thought you were never coming. Dean Whitaker, Moby Communications. Pleased to meet you. Uh, come in. Well, I'd rather get straight to it if it's all right with you. I'm a little bit pushed for time. No, that's fine. Yeah. Hang on while I shut the door. Well, Mr. Sugden, perhaps you can show me where this piece of land is then? Uh, yeah, follow me. Yeah. So, uh, what kept you? Oh. I wonder what's keeping her. We've been here ages. Been here 15 minutes, Cathy. Anyway, it'd be grateful she's seen you at all. She has squeezed us in at the last minute, remember? Yeah, I suppose so. Sorry, Esther must be a bit jet lagged. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Barbara Stanford. Cathy Glover. And you must be Alice. Hi. And um, this is Andrew, Andrew Fraser, a friend of mine. Right then, if you'd like to come through, I'll see what I can do for you. Could you hold all calls, please? I thought you were going fishing. Oh, you thought wrong, didn't you? Fancy a cup of tea? No, thanks. 
I thought you liked fishing. We stop going on about fishing. Okay. <sighs> you know, I'd forget my head if it weren't screwed on. Oh, now where did I leave it? Leave what? My purse. What are you doing sitting there? I thought you were going fishing. What is this about fishing? Well, what's up with you? Huh? Where are you going? Anywhere. So long as I can get a bit of peace. It's been like this all month. Oh, well, you know why that is, don't you? No. It's Kane's birthday tomorrow, eh, Mrs. Oh. Oh, got it. Tell, love. Right, let's get back to work. I'll see you later. And you say you've had no contact with Elsa, Alice's mother, since you left Sydney? Well, yes, I have, actually, this morning. This morning? Yes, I phoned her. Alice wanted to speak to her. Do you miss your mummy, Alice? Well, she wanted to come back with me. I didn't force her. Isn't that right, Alice? No, she was really unhappy. Oh, tell Barbara how unhappy you were. I was very unhappy. See? I think we'd just like to know where we stand, you know, and what Cathy's position is in all this. Indeed. Well, I... I think I've got a clearer picture of what the situation is, so if you wouldn't mind taking Alice out, Mr Fraser, I'd like to talk with Mrs Glover alone, if I may. No problem. Mm. How long will you be? I'll be as quick as I can, I promise. Got another bit of land. Um, if you want to have a look at that, but it's a bit lower down. It's okay. I've seen everything I need to see. <sighs> right, so, uh, what do you think then? I'm afraid I'm I'm not at liberty to say. Well, I know, but uh, you must have some idea. Look, the final decision it won't be down to me. I'm sorry. <sighs> well, you don't sound very optimistic. I'm sounding impartial, Mr. Sugden, as my job description requires. I see. I'll be making my report out tonight. Oh, come on, give us a hint. I mean, this is my life, oh, this is. Look, I'm sorry, I really don't know. You see in other places? Of course. It's a bit of a lottery, is this, isn't it? Oh, pleased to meet you, Mr Sugden. And good luck. Yeah. I knew something was wrong as soon as I walked through the door. There was an atmosphere. An atmosphere? Yes, it's not a happy home. You know how you can tell. Not that they hid it, far from it, as a matter of fact. I heard them arguing, it was hard not to. Well, lots of people argue. Yes, but this was different. In what way different? I don't know, I could just tell, that's all. Look, Alice was walking around on eggshells most of the time. She was subdued, withdrawn, is that what you want to hear? All I know is she wasn't her normal self. Her normal self? But you've already told me that this was the first time you'd seen Alice in nearly two years. Children change. She was unhappy. She lived with me for years. I know her better than anyone. Now, the truth is, Elsa's a bad mother, always has been, and as for the husband, well, they deserve each other. You're very emotionally involved with Alice, aren't you? Well, of course I am. I'm her auntie, and I'm not gonna stand by and watch her being mistreated. But you've no proof that she is being mistreated. She was unhappy, and that's enough for me but not for the courts, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, Cathy, but you haven't a leg to stand on. You wanted to know your legal position? Well, that's it, I'm afraid. Sorry to be so blunt. But surely I can apply for Alice to stay in the UK temporarily anyway. You could, but it would be a waste of time. Court proceedings, if there were any, would have to take place in Australia. Cathy, the whole legal system is against you. What you've done is against the law. I strongly advise that you contact Elsa as soon as possible. OK, so what if I decide not to? I don't think you realise the seriousness of the situation. The courts take a pretty dim view of people taking the law into their own hands, which, let's face it, is what you've done. The bottom line is you could be charged with abduction. Abduction? Yes, Cathy, abduction. Because in the eyes of the law, that's what you're guilty of.
It's where those curtains have moved since yesterday. How do you mean moved? Well, they seem more drawn back than they were. No, they look the same to me. I think you've got too much time on your hands. Oh, they've definitely moved. Patch is back. Yeah, perhaps I ought to give her a nod, you know, just, just to make sure. Alice, don't say anything. I'll do the talking, yeah? Kathy, you had me worried for a moment there. Alice, what a lovely surprise. Hiya. What, what are you doing here? She's here on holiday. Holiday? Yeah, just for a couple of weeks, aren't you, Alice? We can just go and have some lunch. My, my treat. So lovely to see you. Well, we're still a bit jet-lagged. You know how it is. Um, perhaps tomorrow? Well, all right, but I'll hold you to that lunch. We've got a lot of catching up to do. How did it go? Well, put it this way. Can't be holding me breath. What happened? Nothing. Just a feeling I've got. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You're worrying over now, Dad, honest. Just wait and see. Yeah, you're right, as usual. Anyway, I've still got a couple of hours of work to do, so I'll best get back out there. Victoria's watching the telly. Keep an eye on her for me, will you? Why'd you keep getting his hopes up? You said yourself you don't know what's going to happen. I told you. I'll give him any amount of flannel to stop him going off on one. He's miserable enough without us encouraging him. Now what? I don't know. Why did you tell them I was on holiday? I had to say something of all the people to be standing outside the door. You're going to have to do something, Cathy, and quick. Yes, I know. Perhaps you should give Elsa a form. And tell her what? The truth. Are you sending me back to Australia? No, of course I'm not. Our mother needs to know where she is. You've got no choice, Cathy. You heard what the solicitor said. All right. All right, I'll phone her. You understand, don't you? I need to tell her where you are. But I promise you, on my life, you are not, repeat, not going back to Australia. Do you believe me? Good. Right, here it goes. I don't want her with me. What I've got to say is private. Calm down, Ollie. And anyway, isn't it an infringement of my personal rights? Look, why don't I go first? I don't mind. Yeah, I think you better. We'll do it in the front room. And you, madam, had better pull yourself together. Can I come in? Well, I'm pretty exhausted, Alan. I bet you are. I've had Elsa on the phone. So you're saying it was a difficult time, your mum and dad splitting up? Well, it, it wasn't easy. No. And it's the first time you've been in trouble? Yeah. How were relations with your parents at the time? Not good. What, would you say they were bad? Yeah, but it wasn't their fault. It was me and all that. I felt weird. I didn't really want to talk to anybody. And were your parents aware of this? No. That's only because I didn't tell him. Could I, um... Could I ask you something? Sure, far away. Will I be treated the same as the others? I mean, you know I was driving. Yes. Don't worry, Mark. You'll be treated just as fairly as all the others. The court won't discriminate against you. <laughs> right. Now, if I can just take you back to events prior to you stealing the car. I'm sorry, Cathy, but you had absolutely no right to take Alice. What on earth possessed you? Alan, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see what was happening or what was going on. She was really unhappy. I had to do something. I am finding this all rather far-fetched, to be honest. I mean, Alice is my goddaughter. She's written to me on several occasions. And I've never had the remotest sense that she's in the least bit unhappy. Well, you wouldn't, would you? Those letters were probably vetted. Vetted. Just listen to yourself. I'm fast coming to the conclusion that this is all in your imagination, Gabby. 
Go on then, ask her. Ask her, Alan. I'll call her down, shall I? You'll do no such thing. And the poor child is distressed enough as it is without grilling her further. Look, I think I should point out that everything Cathy's done was done with the best possible intentions. You must believe that. Yes, I'm, I'm sure you're right, Andrew. But the fact of the matter is that I've been here before, as far as Alice is concerned. Shall we just say that the issue of where and with whom she resides has always been somewhat contentious? Well, as I've said, Elsa is coming tomorrow afternoon. Let's try and get this sorry mess cleared up as painlessly as possible, especially where Alice is concerned. Right. Well, I've said what I came to say. I'll bid you good day. It's your turn now. What was it like? Look, you're not going to get out of it, Ollie. You just got to go and speak to him. How was your mum bearing up? Look, I'm off out. Well, where shall I say you're going? I don't know, anyway. Trisha? Hey, OK. All right. Ah, not bad. Come on, drink. Yeah. Have this one. I've had too many as it is. Been in here long, then? Uh, what's it there, to tell you the truth? Only place I can get a bit of peace and quiet. Yeah, I'll bet. We're still dossing it, sir. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Quite comfy, really, considering. Mm. It's my birthday tomorrow. Is it? Well, there's a thing. Hey, I'm doing a uh, house special like. Probably go down up with a couple of mates, you know, sink a few jars and that. Who knows, eh? Well, I'll enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah, I will. Cheers. Good to see you, son. Likewise. Can I come in? Yeah. Where's Ollie? She's in a bedroom. Why did everything go wrong, then? Nowhere. It's called being a parent. Right and wrong doesn't come into it, Angie. All you can do is your best, and you have. You should have heard what Ollie said about me. Don't know why I don't just slit my wrist. Hey, hey, we'll have less of that talk. You can't keep your eyes on your kids 24 hours a day, you know. None of this was your fault. It's just life, Angie. I always used to blame the parents. They bring them into the station for, I don't know what, vandalism, breaking and entering. Didn't matter, I'd sit there in the canteen with my coffee and I'd blame the parents. We all did. Hey, come on, hey, 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 hey. You're a good mum, Ange. A very good mum. You know, kids do things for reasons that we can't even imagine because we're not them. Look at how Sean and me. I've never done a dishonest thing in my life. You can't say that about our Sean, though, can we? <laughs> That's better. Look, all you can do is love them. You can't run the lives for them. That's their job. Come on, give yourself a break. You deserve it. Come on. I know I've done the right thing. What's, uh, what's Elsa like? Oh, volatile. Oh, great. Oh, it was never going to be easy. Oh, yeah, thanks for sticking by me. It means a lot. I really thought I would have got more support from Alan, but there you go. Well, I think he was more upset than angry, don't you? No, I don't. I know Alan. He was angry, all right. Come to think of it, he's always been on Elsa's side. I suppose most people around here will be. After all, she's a mother. Blood sick of the mortar and all that. Here, have this. Thanks. Oh, it's got to be all right. I promised her and I can't come back on that. So how did it go, then? All right. It's dead weird her mum being there. Ollie played up and all. She's right, pain. You should have seen this pillock yesterday. Get stuffed. I'll just be glad when we know what's happening. Yeah, me and all. Anyway, he said I'd be treated like everyone else, so at least that's something. I wouldn't believe that. What do you mean? Well, what would he know? He's just a pen pusher, isn't he? No, he isn't. 
His report's important. It's all they've got to go on. My dad said so. My dad? I wouldn't listen to what my dad says. He knows naff all about anything. Should have seen him all dressed up this morning. It's pathetic. Yeah, well, you won't be saying that when he sells the land, will you? If he sells the land. <laughs> Come on, let's just have a kick around. You all right, love? No, I'm not. I've been drinking with our Ken. Uh, it's his birthday tomorrow. And he should be here, Lisa. He should be here. Shall I make us a brew? No, nah, I'm off to bed. Well, it's early yet. So what? I'm in need of oblivion. I don't know how I would have got through today without you. Yeah, well, I think it's tomorrow you should be thinking about. It's going to be really tough, Cathy. Yep, I know. I'm prepared for it, though. I've got to win this one. Defeat is not an option. 